Hi everybody, my name is Mr. C and I'm so glad you're here to join me today for a camp experiment. I am so excited about this because today we're talking about sound. First thing, we're gonna build a kazoo. <laughs> it's so much fun. And to build a kazoo, it's really simple. The thing is, is when you build a kazoo, you can actually feel the vibration on your lips. You know why? Because all sounds are made from vibrations. Every sound that we hear is created by a vibration. And that is the key to making a sound. So what do we need for this experiment? We need a few simple, simple things that you might have at your house. We need two craft sticks, two small rubber bands, and then a larger rubber band. I almost forgot. Ah! We need straws. All right, so what we need is to cut off two pieces of the straw, about one inch long for each of them. It doesn't have to be perfect, so I'm just gonna cut about an inch. And now I have my two parts. Take the thicker rubber band and we put it in and over this first craft stick. Now, take one piece of your straw and you're going to put it underneath. The other one is going to sit on top of it. And then we're going to take the other craft stick and sandwich it. Just like that, perfect. Now hold it in the center. And if you have another set of hands at your house, this is where you might need a little bit of help. You're gonna take the rubber band and you're going to go ahead and just twist it over so that it holds that in place. We're gonna do that to the other side as well. we go. So now you have your kazoo. What you're going to do is you're going to put your lips on it and blow. <laughs> it was the, the sound was so low. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to squeeze it and that kind of stretches the rubber band a little bit. So you can have fun changing the sound of the kazoo and the vibration because the rubber band on the inside, if I push it here, you can see the rubber bands there in the middle. That's what's being vibrated. You can actually feel the vibration on your lips. But you know what? Now that we have a kazoo, well, I have two of them now, let's make something else to actually have another sound with our kazoo as well. Right here, I have this little cup and you can make, I just had a little plastic uh, container lying around the house and I threw some rice in it. By adding some rice to a container, we have what we'd like. It's like a maraca, like. Right? So now we need some melody. And what I have for that is a soda bottle. So this soda bottle is empty right now. What I want you to do, if you don't have a glass soda bottle, that's okay. Um, look for a plastic soda bottle, like a 20 ounce bottle or even a small 12 ounce bottle. And then I want you to do this. That sounds awesome. <laughs> it sounds like a train. But what's really cool about sound, just like this, when I squeezed it, I changed the sound that the rubber band was producing. If we add some water, and if you have a container with a little spout that pours it out easily, or if you have a funnel that helps get the water in there without making a big mess. Now I added some water. Let's see if it changes the sound. It has a higher pitch. And what happens if I add some more water to it? Oh, that is so cool. I can actually change the pitch of the air inside of there. The container has a different pitch. And what's happening is inside here, we have a column of air. We have a column of air. And that column of air What's happening is it's vibrating. So right now we have a small column of air and a really high pitch. I can pour some of the water out. Now my column of air is larger. There's more air in there now. The pitch goes lower because there is more air to vibrate. It's harder and more difficult to vibrate, so it vibrates slower. Things that vibrate more slowly have a lower pitch. Things that vibrate more quickly have a higher pitch. 
And what's really cool is if we have a lot of these, we can actually build something called an octave, which means that there's eight of them. Should we give it a try? I think so. <laughs> Look at this. This is an octave. That means there are eight bottles that create eight unique notes. <laughs> that was really high. So as you can see, as the air columns get smaller, the air vibrating, there's less of it and it produces a higher pitch. Oh my gosh. We have a kazoo, we have a maraca, we have a xylophone. I think we should make a song. Wasn't that so much fun? I'm going to encourage you and your family to work together at your house to build instruments and create your own band. Have lots of fun exploring vibrations and sound, and most importantly, keep learning. We'll see you soon. Bye.